It's probably one of the biggest smartphone releases of the year, and it's certainly one of the most anticipated. Samsung is throwing everything it's got into its newest flagship release, so does it live up to all of the hype? Hey, it's Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And yes, this is the Samsung Galaxy S4. The Samsung Galaxy S4 follows up the tremendously popular Galaxy S3 and hopes to not only please those loyal to the line, but also to entice anyone who has held out until now. The design of the S4 is largely derivative of its older counterpart, especially in the white model you have the white bezel shrunken down to accommodate the 5 inch screen, flatter sides, and a different layout for the rear camera and speaker. Otherwise the button layout is just about the same as it was on the S3. The back cover is still removable, you not only get access to the SD card slot and battery, but you can even buy accessory covers like the smart cover or the wireless charging cover for added functionality. But the phone continues Samsung's trend of plastic bodies and covers. It may be a material choice that is starting to get old, but nonetheless, anyone who has used a S3 in the past will feel right at home here. Let me reiterate that. The Samsung Galaxy S4 feels pretty much like its predecessor. While the general aesthetic might be getting a little played out, remember that there is so much improvement everywhere else and yet it is actually smaller than the S3. With the same height, the S4 sheds a fraction of the S3's thickness and is even a little bit narrower. Most important here, however, is that the S4 is even lighter. Though it might only be 3 grams lighter, there is a balancing to the Galaxy S4 that makes it feel like a feather. You can definitely call that a victory in the design department, as this is the best handling 5-inch screen device out there. Shortly after receiving this unit, I was able to text, chat, browse, and play with one hand comfortably. The flat sides make the phone easy to grip with your fingers and palm. Any ham gymnastics typically needed for a 5-inch screen are at their least required when using this phone. Only rarely did I need to use my other hand to reach the very top left corner of the screen. Perhaps the most obvious improvement at first glance is the display. Samsung brought their Super AMOLED tech up to a 5-inch screen capable of 1080p resolution and 441 ppi. The result is one of the best displays on a smartphone, period. Not only is it easily viewable in almost any condition, it is also capable of some very steep viewing angles. The uber colorful TouchWiz UI benefits from the screen's high saturation, making colors pop out and basically punch you in the face. Reading anything on this screen is easy too, as text is incredibly sharp. Move under that screen and you'll find that the Galaxy S4 is among the fastest phones around. It has the quad-core Snapdragon 600 processor that is only currently found on about a few other devices and is a big leap from the S4 Pro. It is not the Exynos Octa-Core that we may have heard about, but this processor package definitely included in North American models is still an incredible performer. I was zipping through all elements of the UI and multitasking with no problems. A few tests in Antutu Benchmark put the Galaxy S4 right around the very impressive 25,000 mark. Epic Citadel puts the tried and true Adreno 320 performance at very high ratings, and the 2 gigabytes are available for all of your multitasking pleasure. Hardware is what the Samsung Galaxy S4 has in spades. The speaker is no front-facing boom sound, but it is quite loud and is far from tinny. The S4 is then not only sporting expandable memory and a replaceable battery, but a host of new sensors and utilities for a bunch of uses. First one we'll list is a IR blaster capable of controlling a host of TVs, set-top boxes, and players. GPS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth are your standards while NFC with S-Beam makes its return. But there are many sensors add in that complement the typical accelerometer and proximity sensor. You now have a barometer and a temperature gauge to check the general conditions around you, an RGB light sensor that helps adjust the color and white balance of the screen based on its detection of light, an infrared sensor for all hand and air gestures, and a hall sensor for detecting closed smart converts, and finally, a compass. What is perhaps best about these additions is that software inclusions make them all useful in one way or another, but we'll get to that soon. The battery unit included with the S4 is of a higher capacity than most 5-inch screen device offerings. 2600 mAh are able to power this phone for quite a while, making the end of the day a little less precarious for the common user. With a bit of a robust test, using Wi-Fi and Netflix movies, the phone finally knocked out at right under the 4-hour mark. Otherwise, straight browsing time and playing videos from memory certainly came in at impressively long times, usually around 8 or so hours on Wi-Fi without disabling sync. 
It is definitely among the longest lasting 5 inch screen devices available and with the ability to replace the battery when it finally runs out of juice, you really shouldn't have any power issues on the Galaxy S4. Improvements on the camera start off pretty standard. 13 megapixels are what you get this time around while the front facing camera gets 2. Additions are all in the application itself, in which there are now a bunch of new ways to use those optics. Ones you may expect include Best Face, which takes a burst shot and allows you to replace detected faces to find the right one you need for the shot, Animated Photo, which just basically takes that burst shot and creates animated GIFs from them, Here's a quick picture of the palm out in my front yard using sound and shot, HDR, and Panorama. You are also able to use both the front and rear facing cameras in order to create a dual shot picture or video. Now the big additions take further advantage of those burst shots via eraser mode and drama shot. Eraser detects the objects that move aside from your subject and background and erases anything not meant to be in the picture. Drama shot instead adds the moving subject on top of the stable background, creating a nice looking one picture burst subject. Both are nice to use as long as your device and the general background are stable. Picture quality on the S4 is really quite good. Just as the S3 was considered a great performer in the 8 megapixel space, the S4 is among the best in the 13 megapixel space. You get a great deal of detail and the color saturation is high enough to make any picture nice and vibrant. With great quality and a host of ways to take a picture, the Galaxy S4 is definitely at the top of the list of smartphone cameras. And finally we get to the software. TouchWiz is an Android UI that you either love or hate. Personally, I've never been a big fan of its more bloated and yet uber colorful look, though the great quality of the screen certainly helps make those colors really go nuts. But this time around with the Jellybean 4.2.2 powered version of Samsung's UI, I actually didn't immediately replace it with a different launcher. While that might happen eventually, I have found why it is more tolerable this time around. It's the size of the screen. High resolution displays often run the risk of making things uncomfortably small or weirdly spaced out, but the already enlarged and bloated TouchWiz elements translate perfectly to the 1080p display. What you get is an easily accessible interface that even with the smallest font size is simple to navigate without having to squint or pinpoint. There are a number of new ways to get around in built-in applications. It might be a little daunting to look through all of these, but a large power widget in the notification dropdown gives you a quick glimpse. There are motion features that return like direct calling, which calls the contact currently displayed automatically when the phone is brought to your face, or muting when turning your phone over onto its face. A sensitive screen allows you to get around even when wearing gloves as well as use your finger like an S Pen to get quick previews of gallery albums. I think the most practical application of this air view is previewing your last received text. And then there are all of the different air gestures that take advantage of the motion sensor. You can jump through a web page, go to the next picture, change the music track, My favorite one is a quick info screen that pops up after you wave your hand. It's a brilliant way to quickly get the time, date, and notifications of missed calls and texts. Quick tip though, use some finesse. The sensor has to pick up the movement for the gesture to register, so you don't have to do it so fast. Smart screen capabilities utilize the front facing camera to detect if you're still looking. The screen will stay on as long as the phone is at an angle and eyes are still on the screen. And smart pause will pause a video playing when you look away. I personally like the smart scroll. Let the phone detect your eyes, after which you can slightly tilt your head to look at the bottom or top of the screen, which will scroll a web page accordingly. You just have to take that extra second or two to allow the phone to detect your eyes. New apps included are the S Translator, which allows for voice and text translations among about a dozen different languages, Story Album, which puts your pictures together in a nice flipbook format, and Group Play which allows you to connect to a bunch of other S4 devices to share pictures, documents, presentations, and music. While I don't have other units to demonstrate this right now, I can say it is a really cool feature, especially when you have five total devices put together and make every single one play one of the five channels of music. And finally, there's S Health, perhaps the biggest endeavor. If you have ever used multiple diet or exercise tracking applications, Samsung has tried to consolidate them all into S Health. You can track food from a database or from information you add in yourself, track physical activity, log weight, and even use the thermometer and barometer to check humidity and temperature of your surroundings. The gyroscope in the S4 can also be set on for tracking your steps. If your phone is in your pocket, why not put it to some work still? 
All of these features will be further augmented with a number of accessories you can buy, like a heart rate monitor, a wrist pedometer, and a weight scale. It's actually a nice suite of diet applications that can help anyone who gets into the habit of tracking to get into shape. To end, we have the price. The Samsung Galaxy S4 should be coming out on pretty much all major carriers, most of whom have already posted pre-orders. In America, it will be around $200 with a two-year contract, while the uncarrier T-Mobile plan will ask for $150 up front with $20 device payments each month for two years. With the Galaxy S4 slated to come out on just about any carrier, you will be able to get your hands on one no problem. Unlocked prices will likely get around the $700 US mark. And so, there you have it. I will say this, Samsung put a lot of work into making sure their S4 offers the most to its users. All of the sensors give many ways of performing tasks we've gotten used to doing with just our fingertips. Other features like group play and the camera additions are neat tricks that are fun to use once you find a time to use them. And S Health will help anyone proactive enough to use it. And that's about the gist of the Life Companion Samsung Galaxy S4. It may not be particularly revolutionary, but it does get close to perfecting what is already in place while giving you new alternative ways of how to do them. You're given choices on how to tackle pretty much any typical task. And if you don't want to use those particular features, well, you really don't have to. But just like Samsung, the company itself, it's all there for you. And one day you just might end up trying it out serendipitously or even out of sheer boredom. And then before you know it, you've fallen in love. For all the Samsung Galaxy S4 coverage, stay tuned to Android Authority YouTube channel and keep up with AndroidAuthority.com because we're your source for all things Android.